It was an old passage built by my people as our faith demanded. Once, it was to lead to fertile woodlands. But we were commanded to stay our diggers, our masons. So we remain in the teeth. It is a wonder to any mortal eyes, though because it is not good enough for the gods' tastes, we must call it a failure. And still we bear this bitter truth every morning, and by every sundown it seems liable to crush us under its weight. The Jotun are a savage race, but their cruelty can be controlled as easily as it can be fostered. Before we came here, the Jotun were our wards, but that was a lifetime ago, and now they call for our heads. The Warlord is cruelty incarnate. He has transformed the memory of my people's leadership into that of slavery. As if we possess such barbarity. He makes camp in the barbarous tower you see in the distance. He must be killed if this is to end. I command the soldiers that protect my people, the Colossi, from the dangers of this land. They are many, and we are but few. Each passing year it seems more and more like we lose ground. But what can we do? We are commanded to stay here. The quickest way to end their threat would be to kill their war chief, Karank. With his death, the others will be brought to heal. Bring word to the city. They will need to know about the Jotun and this new interloper.
Ah, what a horrid little thing you are. Are you some kind of joking runt? Explain yourself quickly. The last thing I want is to give away my position. themselves daily. They fight at the slightest provocation. They pride themselves on their odor. Are these truly the menace to our society? I have seen him rip a spear from his belly without so much as a grunt. We thought he might just not feel pain, but I know his secret. I am a scout for the Idilla Guard. There are many dangers that lurk in the corners of this land. My job is to root them out. She is a competent warrior and good leader, but she served the city almost non-stop since she became the captain of the guard. Every day she seems more strained than the day before. How long can she continue serving the city? That much I was aware of, and I knew Sikandra would send someone, but you? A sign of the times, to be sure, but if you're to do the deed, then I have information that you will need. Karunk is truly powerful, but no more so than his brethren. It is not his strength that's troubling, it's his fortitude. Two kobolds he keeps with him work some strange magics that heal his wounds and help him resist injury. Kill them, and the fight is yours. Using primal magic would certainly help as well. Thing, aren't you? 
primal magic is a magic imbued upon weapons and gems. Only armament can channel it. The magic does some damage on its own, but its true strength is its ability to augment other magics you cast on your foe to a devastating degree. Take this weapon, use it to inflict primal magic on a foe, and let loose your spells. Even a Jotun warlord could not withstand such an onslaught. It is an older form of magic, one that does little damage on its own, but can wreak havoc when combined with elemental spells. Using weapons infused with primal magic, you can increase your foe's magical sensitivity. Even a troll's hide will have its resistances sapped. Imagine loosing your most damaging spells with no resistances. Few would survive such an onslaught. Be careful.
From Remy's, I received word that one such as you entered Karunk's tower with no trepidation, no anxiety. Do I even have to ask, does the war chief still draw breath? It was said the gods would call their champion, and here you are, bearing the cipher, seeking the Primos. If you have learned something of primal magic, this staff may be of value to you. Take it with my thanks for your role in killing the Warlord. Now my forces can put the rest of the joke into the spear, beckoned. I owe you much for killing Karunk Beckoned, so I will do as you say. I only hope you do not reap bitter fruit from your generosity. Now I will take you to the Henge, and then to the Primos, as I promised. The Primos is our ruler, and the most devout of the Colossi. For example, our current Primos, Anakatos, has sequestered himself away from our people in prayer for years. Meanwhile, we are threatened every day, and because of Anakatos' extreme measures, we lack guidance. An artifact my people made. With the city in the sky, we knew we needed a way to travel from the teeth and back. The energies it focuses are the same as those that keep the city aloft. They can levitate people and objects safely. Very well.
Here, Beckoned. This artifact you see before us is a henge. We use it to transport to the city. It may be uncomfortable at first. I still recall retching after my first journey with it. But it is the only way into the city. I have thought on your decision to spare the Jotun, and how our intolerance exposes our hypocrisy. At first I saw no reason for it. The Jotun are cruel and savage. Then I realized that we Colossi were that way once, until someone gave us a chance. Farewell. And here you have it, Idilla, our great failing. Now let us go to Anakatos. He may hide from our people's needs, but he will not refuse a visitor sent from Athene. The goddess of wisdom is, was our patron. Though my people worship all the Titans, they hold Athene as our personal guardian. But the gods do not look to us or listen to us. What manner of patron neglects their charge, leaves their wards to the wilderness? The gods choose the Primos to lead we Colossi and to enact their will. Of the gods, we are the favored of Athene, the goddess of wisdom, or we were. Athene's once common words have been quiet for some time. The Primos has prayed in isolation for years, but she does not answer. Now that the trouble with the Jotun has been solved, I am free to investigate other threats to my people, and there are many options to choose from.
mind your step here beckoned. I wouldn't want the Colossi's failure to claim any more lives than it already has. It is not here by choice. Or our choice, anyways. Such questions would be better suited for the Primos. Suffice it to say that this was made in anticipation of something that never occurred. Very well. You must be the beckoned. Please, just let me past. I will only... What is it? Unless you can somehow convince the guards to let me leave the city, you're only wasting my time. I'm sorry. It just makes you a little crazed, you see. Being locked inside this city like a penned animal. All I want is to leave for a short time to travel to the Warren and check on my wife, Galatea. But I cannot leave. My wife and I were separated when the city was raised. I believe her to still be in the teeth of Naros. I hope she is unharmed. This city is the child I never had. I poured myself into this stone, these edifices, these reliefs. But now I have been here so long that these walls have lost their charm. They are only the bars of a prison to me. I am one of Idilla's finest masons. So much so that it seems I am an institution amongst my people. It seemed nice at first, but they handle me like a work of art, with too much caution. The stone used to build this city was dug out from the Warren. It was our main quarry, but much of it is inaccessible now. The rest is home to beasts. I did not choose to leave her beckoned. I wanted her to come with me, but she can be difficult to move to action sometimes. But I cannot retrieve her now, for I am one of the city's finest masons. The guard are under orders not to let me leave, so I do not die. All I want to know is that she is unharmed. But I've done so well for this city that I am forbidden from departing. Would you truly beckon? That is something. At least I will be certain that she is unharmed. I left her in the ruins of the Warren, the city's old quarry. You should search there for her.
We were separated when the city was raised. I last saw her in the quarries of the Warren. Please find my wife. Be careful here. And it would seem that the deliverer of my people has found me at last. Many honored greetings to you, Beckoned. If you would, I have more than pleasantries to discuss. Like many, I seek your prowess. The Beckon shows the path the Colossi must walk again. So it has always been claimed. It is a grand city, worthy of protection. I strive to guard its citizens from the menaces below us, in the teeth of Naros. Looking at the Colossi here, you will find we have it in ourselves to be truly great. But we are also capable of much violence. I have lost much to the beasts of this land. I aim to ensure that none share this sorrow. A culling. Though the Colossi are a people of faith, more and more of us are reverting to the savage ways of our ancestors. The lowest of these doubters become marauders, bloodthirsty and violent, capable of nothing but wrath. They must be purged. I thank you. It is high time we bring their savagery to an end. Each marauder should carry a totem of some sort. Bring those to me as proof of your deeds. The Marauders have lost their reason, but not their strength. If they catch you unawares, you will not have much time left. They roam the lands below the city. I do not doubt that you will find them if you seek them out in the wilds. Ah, the famed Beckoned comes to me at last. Admittedly, my request might be the smallest you will hear, but I wish to voice it nonetheless. How do you find our city, Beckoned? Grand, is it not? It is the great island of progress, as I see it. But even it cannot forget the world it left below. All the rocks you see, here and in the sewers, once rested in the teeth of Naros. This is a place for those who are weary of their burdens. If you feel so, you can rest for a while. I'm just one who's intent on maintaining the cultural integrity of her people. We were once no nobler than the Jotun or the Etin. Some would purge this history, but then how will we remember it? To preserve the past. All around us is the great chisel and hammer of progress, keen on dragging my people towards enlightenment. But such progress means nothing without context. I wish for someone who can find artifacts of my ancestors, reminders of our simpler times. Very good. I'll reward you for any artifacts you can find. But larger artifacts will do well for both of us. I await your findings. They are little things, of no intrinsic value. But as my people are so convinced to make progress, these artifacts are the few records of who we once were. They are strewn throughout the teeth of Naros. 
They may be hidden in forgotten corners or carried by beasts as trophies. Good luck in your search. Must be the beckoned. You must be the beckoned. Beyond these stairs is the sanctuary of the Primos, the leader of the Colossi people in the teeth of Naros. I must warn you, Anakotos has not left these quarters in years. He vowed to never cease his prayers until the gods answered them. And his people have languished for it. But I think his answer has finally arrived. Speak to him, Beckoned. His people have need of him. After years in his sanctum, I doubt he is the Primos I once knew. But though we all languish in the gods' absence, none suffer as he does. He will likely see you as the answer to his prayers. Be cautious in these lands. Thank you. Is there anything I can assist? Know that it leads to the land of our greatness, and that we walk it with you. Such were the words the gods spoke to the progenitor of my race when they sought to guide us from our base origins into a fruition of potential. The words have been in my heart every day of my reign, but now they are embodied. Welcome, Beckon. At last, this city will be complete. I am the Primos of the Colossi people. As I lead them in politics, I lead them in prayer. The messenger of the gods, one summoned to bring the word of faith back to our people. I always assumed that the beckoned would be one of my own kind. You bear the cipher. Your role cannot be made more clear. The goddess has shepherded my people for generations. She was responsible for the growth of my people. Somehow, we were found unworthy of her. I have prayed to learn why. But her anger must be far too great. This is greater than any city or any temple that you will find in this world. Of that I assure you. 
The city, though magnificent, is only half completed. This land is the crucible by which my people might be forged to their new destiny. Vicious and inhospitable, it rebukes my people's every step. Many are the artifacts strewn throughout this world. But the cipher of Athene, you have seen its outline traced in tomes and scrolls, but never in person. Bearing it makes you an embodiment of her power, Beckham. She sees and hears through you. Because we are all of us, my whole people, incomplete. Because we are not worthy enough, not deserving enough, to see such wonders of the gods. And I thought that failure was a finality. To the gods in seclusion in hopes of an answer. But they were as quiet as the silent choir. Now the beckoned is come. With you, the gods can bear witness to us atoning for our inadequacies. We must start at once, beginning with the wreath of absolution. The Wreath of Absolution can only be created from the hands guided by a theme. I must ask you to assemble it. First, a golden prayer circuit is needed to serve as its base. The art of crafting one is all but lost to us, but I require one all the same. The last Primos to wear a Wreath of Absolution, Arches, is buried with one such circlet. Sakandra led you to me, did she not? Then she will lead you to the circlet. He led my people into the times that you see today. The gods did not favor his reign, clearly. The Silent Choir is a group of our most faithful followers, and serve me as I serve the gods. So deep is their faith, that they never speak upon entering service. It lies in his crypt, in the darkest pits beneath the city. They are old halls, and they have fallen into disuse. I understand there might be trepidations in taking such an artifact from my predecessor's crypt, but I assure you, it is ordained. The times we have arrived at are desperate, and when the heavens show their intent, one cannot stand too much on ceremony. We must act. You return. Well, the Primos has not graced the ears of his subjects in ages. What has he said to you? The circlet of Arches. And Anakatos expects me to lead you to it? Has his reclusion left him senseless? Has he forgotten his history as well as his people? Very well. As I cannot refuse the Primos, I will meet you in the crypts, in the undersewers of the city. Let us deal with this as quickly as possible. You are the first to hear his voice in some time. I almost thought he would join his acolytes in their silent pact. But his prolonged absence from his people has taken its toll on his judgment. 
Does the crypt of Arches have no sanctity to him? He... I've had chances to speak of Arches before, but it is not fitting for me to discuss him. Not now.